Welcome guys to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect this Squarespace domain to the Shopify. So it's going to be really easy. First of all, what you need to do is to prepare your Squarespace domain. So the first step is to ensure that you have access to the Squarespace domain settings. So once you have access to that, you want to log into the Squarespace account and navigate to the domain settings. So you might be needing to make changes to the DNS settings to point your domain to Shopify. So make sure that you can purchase an actual domain inside Squarespace and you are signed in. So now that you have just created your account here in Squarespace, now that you have purchased your actual store, then what you need to do is to check out your actual domains into your account. And here should be appearing inside here. Once you check out the actual domain that you have just, uh, let's say, purchase it, I choose this and I go for manage domain the settings. Inside my managing my domain settings, what I wanted to do is to have access to the DNS records. Inside here, what you can do is to check out the settings, the domain and the email and choose the option that says uh, start a transfer. So I choose the option that says stress start transfer and here I have an actual authorization code. So before we can get started, we need to check out the current registered and prepared domain for transfer. So here I have this um, authorization code. You want to log into the current provider to log the domain and copy our transfer authorization code. code. This is not available for people who are purchasing stuff here in this cloud space. So you have to worry about this. Now let's focus into Shopify. Inside Shopify, what you want to do now is to locate where you can add your new domain. So let's focus inside here, the left part that says settings. Inside settings, let's focus now inside the left part here. I'm going to scroll a little bit down and choose the option that says domains. Inside this sub menu of domains, I'm going to choose the option that says connect an existing domain. Inside here, what you want to do is to go back into squat paste, copy the actual domain that you're currently having and paste it directly in here. So I'm going to go for text So I choose the option that says next and automatically it's going to be added uh, here inside the section of my domain. So what you need to do now is to follow the instructions and connect your domain in order to change your provider account settings. I'm going to choose the option that says follow the settings instructions. So choose verify your connection. And here, as you can see, it's now been added automatically. Now, uh, sometimes I'm going to try to look out for. So it should be appearing here, the ownership. So we needed to create the following DNS records into our domain provider account settings. So to do this, what I need to do is to locate my DNS record uh, and it will be looking something like this. So what I should do is to add a new record. Inside here, what I need to do is to add all the records that appears here. So for example, it should be the A record. Into name, I go for add and the current IP address should be this one. So for that, I'm going to copy it I'm going to go back into my DNS records and I go for a record. Host add and the IP address should be this one. Once you have successfully done this, go into save. In this case, this one automatically has been added. So you can see a record hosting a and the value should be this one. So now I can go back. I choose exactly the same thing, but instead of a record, I go for C name. And I have now the new name and the required value. So once I added all of this information directly into the DNS records, what I can do is now to choose the option that says verify the connection. And once you have successfully done that, you can see that your new domain appears with no issue there. So that means that I can choose the option that says view and make sure that your store is now working with this new domain URL that you have just chose. And once you have successfully done that, where well, you're actually good to go. Now, just in case there's an actual issue though, and you have verified your DNS settings and you can set up your Shopify domain as a primary, then what you need to do is to make sure that everything works correctly. I'm gonna choose my domain that we have chose, that we have just added into the domain list as primary. Make sure that you click into change domain type and choose the option that says primary domain. This one should be now displayed into the address bar when the passengers are browsing the online store that now appears into the upper side, in this case, in here. So once you have successfully done this, what I'm going to be doing here is now to go back here into Kenzo and make sure that there's not other domain that appears into primary. As you can see, every one appears as redirects to and the actual domain that we have chose. Now just lastly, test your domain. So test your domain to ensure that it's properly connected to the Shopify store 
open in an actual web browser and of course type your domain URL and make sure everything works correctly all the pages all the products uh, all the functionality everything is working correctly and well lastly what you want to do is to redirect Squarespace traffic to the Shopify if you have existing content to the Squarespace site what you want to redirect to Shopify store you want to set up a URL redirection to Squarespace so this one shows the visitors who access the old Squarespace URL are automatically redirected to the corresponding page into the Shopify store but all of this should be done automatically done by the actual Shopify just lastly what you want to do is to update your links promotional materials um, this includes social media profiles, email campaigns, marketing materials, so just ensure consistency across all the channels guys and help you avoid confusion for your actual customers. So guys, that is actually it. How we can connect the Squarespace domain inside our Shopify. So we hope this guide helps you simply the transition with your online store to Shopify while maintaining your existing domain. Now, if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to TechExpress for more e-commerce tutorials and tech tips. If you have any questions or need further assistance, you can leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.